How do I make easy gold with the dark moon fair? Let us begin. Good morning and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking at how to make additional gold with the dark moon fair event, which happens every month. But first things first, let's start off with the quest turn-ins. The quest turn-ins are the Fallen Adventurer's Journal, Banner of the Fallen, Captured Insignia, Imbued Crystal, Monstrous Egg, Mysterious Grimoire, along with ornate weapon, soothsayer's runes, and the treaties on strategy. These items can be accepted and purchased off of the auction house. You can get these by having the Dark Moon Fair Adventure Journal on your character and running old raids, dungeons, and battlegrounds. This is how you obtain them. However, I prefer to just buy these off of the auction house. Unless I'm actually farming old world dungeons for Transmorg, for that matter. So if you are a transmog farmer, you could have this on you and just running old instance dungeons and that. You can obtain those as a bonus. However, I would prefer to just purchase them off the auction house and hand them in. These can then be turned into some of the NPCs here for different types of battle pets to sell on the auction house or by purchasing different mounts. I already own two of these and I'm working my way towards the Dark Moon blimp basically. But however, you can use this to buy out a lovely battle pet in order to sell on the auction house. However, if you do decide to have something else, then you can run all the way over here and go to the replica armor vendors. These guys can sell you different types of replica gear that you can sell on the auction house. These are cosmetics and you can sell these for a decent amount of gold. So the shoulder pads, for instance, for my druid is around about 85,968 gold on my server and on the region sale average is around about 27,975 gold. That's pretty damn good if you are a long term gold seller when it comes towards like transmog, cosmetics, all that stuff. You can then search by all and find out the most high ticket one for you. See, there is one shoulder one, which is a cloth one which is 75 tickets, which we definitely got for around about the eight thousand, the roughly 7,000 gold that I spent on all of the Dark Moon turn-ins. And we can purchase one of these, so 7,000 gold for, on my server is 195,000 gold for value for that, or the read and sell average of 19,000. So you're still gonna pull in a profit by selling these cosmetic items. However, for me, I'm saving them because I want that blimp mount. So I think everyone can understand why I'm not buying it because I really want the blimp mount. So I've got a couple more months in order to do this. Alongside that, if you're trying to get a hold of any of the other Dark Moon Fair tickets, you can always get 100 Dark Moon Dagamore and do the Silas quest chain. I can always do a video on that and how to get those tickets, but realistically, it is mainly having the 100 Dark Moon Dagamore coming over to the vendor, and you will buy this from this vendor here, Glassa, Gliesa, uh, Sundu, and she'll sell you a faded treasure map where you have to find a series of notes, and by the end of it, you get 100 Dark Moon prize tickets. So if you haven't done that already, that is a unique quest chain that you, only, you can only do once per character a time. Unfortunately, I've done that on all of my characters, so it's very hard for me to show you. Along with that, you can always trade in Dark Moon Dagamore. Dark Moon Dagamore can be fished up only within the Dark Moon Fair, and at the moment for me, it's going for around about seven gold a piece. If we go into Worth It, actually, because we actually have this in Worth It, go into Fishing, and you can find that the Dark Moon Dagamore is around about 2,000. 291 gold, not very good gold per hour there, but you get around about 316 of these. However, you can make this a lot better by purchasing the battle pets to sell on the auction house, which is the Blorb's Bubble and the Translucent Shell. Along with that, you can also purchase the recipes, which you can also sell on the auction house as well, which is the extra lemony herb fillet and the lemon herb fillet as well for the Dark Moon Fair. There are also other different types of classic cooking abilities that you can learn for yourself, but that's only really just a bonus for yourself as your profession. Other than that, this is a nice little guide for making gold with the Dark Moon Fair. There are other different types of things that you can do, like farm up the Dark Moon Rabbit and farm Moon Fang's Pelt. However, those ones are time sensitive and you can't do them straight away by watching this video. 
Along with that, if you do look at the chat, you will see if Moonfang is up or the Dark Moon Rabbit is up and try and see if you can get a chance of getting one of those as the Dark Moon Rabbit sells for a decent amount of gold on the auction house. Hopefully this will increase the amount of gold that you're actually making over time. And other than that, please check out my other channel, Dalla, where we're covering over different types of things to do with Void as the game, and we've just released the manga. So please feel free to check that out as and when you do. And links are in the description for anyone who needs additional help with gold making or just in general. Other than that, guys, have an awesome rest of the day, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon. Mm -hmm.